Hello YouTube, it's Tony, and welcome to episode 23 of my Efficient Iron Man series. So yes, in this episode, I am really hoping to get 99 Invention. I mean, I am very close, as you can see right here. It is around 2.5 mil left, I believe. So yeah, just sit back and enjoy the rest of this episode. So I better start doing this quest called the Dimension of Disaster, and hopefully it doesn't take so long. I mean, definitely is a really long quest, so... Let's get started. Well, guys, I'm ready for this fight and let's see just how hard this is going to be, I swear. Like, I remember doing this on my main account. It was so hard. It took me like a few tries, but hopefully this one shouldn't take so long. Oh, wait. I think I'm in the right place. Oh, I think I just exited. I don't remember, but... And there it is. I just completed that quest, guys. It's really, really easy, that fight. Like, I, I don't know how, but... This was just so easy, all I had to do was just lure the cows to the Zemorgal and... Oh, I gotta get this lamp. Oh, cool, I got range XP. So let me just select Dimension Disaster, and I think that should be the end of this quest. Or I think I already had that, yep. Nice, there we go, completed it. 368 quest points, man. Yeah, so I'm gonna spend these on, let me see, reward... Silver pennies, gonna got buy this dark light upgrade. Not sure what else to buy, but I think this should be the best upgrade to buy. Level 10 rod, come on, 98 invention. Ooh, yes, 1.4 mil XP away from level 99. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness, yes. I can just camp virus the rest of the way and I should pretty much be good to go. Alright, cool. I just looted all these things for the quest reward, which was the magical dice. So let's see just how many fortunate components I have. Yeah, nothing. Nice. That is 14 components, so that's pretty cool to me. Come on, let's loot this and... Oh, a grapevine seed. Oh, dragon plate legs ornament. Meh. I guess that's okay, I guess. I don't know. So let's just enter this premier gold vault and come on, let's see if... I can do that. I'm pretty sure it lets me. Okay, so I'm gonna start by opening this chest nearby. I mean, I think I had a guide on this a while ago. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to you when I'm done this. Ooh, not bad. I get some teak planks and, well, only 121k, but uh, hey, at least I get some corn seeds, but still not as good as the main account rewards. I mean, I can't really complain because it's obviously Iron Man mode. Ooh, level 91 farming. Yes, I can start doing fell stocks without boosting. So I literally forgot to record that, but as you can see right here on my bank, I'm going to show you exactly what I have in terms of the divination outfit. So I have four out of five pieces of this and I just crafted one, but for some reason, I still haven't gotten a fifth piece on any set. Like this is a total of, I believe, nine of them, yet... I don't know, man. I'm just getting unlucky with this divination outfit. I really want to complete that so I could get like more curse energy. But anyways, this is what my stack looks like. Well, I actually ended up using all these curse enriched memories. Well, and then I also stocked up on more of these as well. So that's 165k, which yeah, that's a lot of these so far overall. So yeah, that's definitely a lot of curse energy event stuff. Oh cool, I just realized I have an Arc Spore Zygomite, which is actually different than the regular ones you get from farming. I think this is probably going to give me some of the webbing, which I don't know how to pronounce that, but, but yeah, that's going to be for the extreme invention potions. Nice, there we go, 82 agility, nice, nice. Now that I am level 80 mining, I should be able to mine these rocks and make my own turtle bull. Wait, not turtle bowl, sorry, ornate bowl, yeah. I got confused with ornate turtles, so that's why. Come on, come on, please. Oh, there it is, there it is. I did not see that. I was like, I literally thought I was mining that, but it's actually going to be helpful for getting more tiers, so I'm going to see how much XP that's going to give me. All right, so that's 218 tiers, so let's see how much we can get. Ooh, not bad, 39k agility XP. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh wait, I probably have to had to give it to Juna in order to get this bonus. I cannot believe it. Like I thought I had I thought 
it automatically uses it, no? Or I think it. I had to give it to her, but well, tomorrow is reset time, so I'm gonna definitely try it and see if it actually does make a difference. Nice, another livid plant. So I'm gonna buy this and yeah, let's inspect this so we could get, let's see, 34K produce points. So that's 19K from this. Yeah, that's nice. Now the reason I'm buying this isn't because of Comp Cave, it's really because of the Repair Rune Pouch spell. Like it's definitely gonna be really, really overpowered, so it's nice to really have that unlocked sooner or later. Nice, there we go. That's three webbings, which is gonna be helpful for invention potions, of course. But yeah, I think this isn't probably the hardest. I don't know why it's so expensive on Mainscape from what I heard. It's like 200k or something, but that was two weeks ago. Ooh, and I hear him staff. Man, I could have used this at low level, but oh well. Just trying to complete the Mauritania test, man. Just trying to complete that. Come on, please, RNG. Guffin's Helm. I think I have a duplicate for that. I'm pretty sure. I better check in my bank, man. Wow. Three Guffin's Helms. Oh my god. I think I just need one more Guffin's piece. Yeah, I just need the Guffin's Worst Spear and... Yet, I'm getting three of these helms. Oh my god, man. I cannot believe it. Like, what a teaser to my luck that is. We have the over... So next up, we have the overloads and the holy ones, as you can see right here. That's 146 of them. 145, yeah. Oh my god. Look at that. My title is gone. My Iron Man title. Yeah, well, at least I still have the icon. Alright, so let's disassemble this. I haven't even disassembled an item for a while, so... There we go, come on. It's 936k left, so... I'm just gonna augment one more time and then... Actually twice, and then I will save the last one for a party. Iljankin components. How are you pronounce that? I think I pronounced that correctly, but... Or Iljankin, whatever it is, but... Anyways, that's gonna be for Aftershock components. Cool. What a lucky scavenge I got, actually, from this... Nice, 95 attack and strength, and no, we don't have tier 95 weaponry. I thought they'd be out by now, but hey, whatever. 98 prayer, there we go. One more level. See, it's so amazing for prayer training. People just don't know about this method. I'm surprised, man. Really surprised. Come on, I think this would be the last Sun Spear until level 99 invention. Actually, second last, so let me see. Disassemble. Ooh, 412k left. I can't believe I forgot my miscellanea for some reason. Wow, I actually realized right now you could add the insect repellent to your tool belt. Yeah, that was as part of the patch notes. So if anyone's wondering, then here it is. I just added it to my tool belt. Oh, cool. 92 farming. That's halfway through until 99. And yeah, I can even breed dragons as well. Although I'm not, I probably won't have any dragon eggs anytime soon though. 200 mil XP, nice. One of my friends told me this in the clan chat that I'm gonna get 200 mil XP, yeah. Still not a single 99 though, but hey, at least this is my last invention weapon. Ooh, 92 fire making, yep, I am halfway there. Oh, infernal adds too. But hey, infernal adds isn't really that useful in today's game, so whatever. Alright, so there we go. That is my last level 10 Sun Spear. But I gotta make sure I don't disassemble this because if I do, then not, that would be already 99 by that time. So I gotta make sure I save this. I gotta make sure. Let me just bank this and yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna switch it to range just, just so my preset doesn't recognize it. Wow, only 450k Hunter XP per hour in one hour of Crystal Skill Champas. I was actually disappointed because I thought it's like 1.5 mil, but I guess the agility level really does matter then. Hmm. Wow, the XP per hour is so terrible at Crimson Skill Champas. My god, I did not realize this. Kind of disappointed, man. Ooh, level 90 cooking, which means I can access ports, the chef in ports. Yeah, so I'm just AFKing around a little bit. All right, so 210 of these tiers, and let's see if I was actually right. 
Oh, yes, I was actually right. You had to hand this in to Juna in order to get that bonus. All right, so there we go. Just one more disassemble and we're level 99 Ventures. So let's go right here. And there we go, level 99 invention. That is the first level 99 on this account. Yes, yes, there we go. Yep, 99 invention, man. Oh yeah, I better I better trade this guy and get a cape so I could just keepsake that. So let me just wear it. Ooh, cool, it looks, looks so cool. It's, ooh, let's see, where is that keepsake key? I better, better use that keepsake key. Where's the keepsake key anyway? Yes, yeah, store this item in the keepsake key so I could just select and apply. There we go, there we go. Keepsake key everyone, thank you for the party. You know, look at that. That's a lot of people in this party. But here we go. This is the untrimmed invention officially. Yep. Here it is. Looks pretty golden. Finally, now that I've done my 99 invention, I'm gonna show you my adventure log. So as you can see right here, that's 49 days and 10 hours. So with that said, I have 204.5 mil total XP, and I actually did the calculation. So that would get me 172.4 mil XP. Yeah, so this is definitely higher than last time, but not by too much, but still. I'm actually happy it's increasing each and every single time. And my next goal is I'm trying my best to go for max cape. Well, hopefully the fastest Iron Man, I'm not sure how fast is the fastest one. From what I heard, it's probably around 68 days or something. Well, someone sent me the screenshot of another Iron Man. But anyways, before I end this, I gotta admit, like I had trouble finding that keepsake key box because this new interface, my God, man. Like the reason why it took me like five minutes to find this keepsake key box was because I just didn't know about this new interface. Well, I haven't used the fashionscape for a while, so that's why. But anyways, it kind of ruined the moment a little bit because obviously I get I couldn't get to see every other person's name, but still. Nonetheless, I got 99 invention, and I'm actually pretty proud of that. So thank you for watching, and I hope I see you next episode. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already.